Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here and welcome back to some Minecraft. We're doing another episode of Limitless 6 here. Um, last episode, I don't know, I think we did some of this stuff. I um, Obviously you would have seen it, uh, yesterday's video, it was one my, my eldest daughter did. Uh, I did have a work function to attend and didn't get a chance to get every video done that I needed, but hopefully we can get back on track now um, again. Things will maybe change in that spot, but we'll see how we go. All right, so for today's episode, I'd like to do a bit of Lux Networks and start getting a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a, a power set up so that I don't have to run cables and junk everywhere. And then hopefully I can make it so that all of my little connections here and there can all be joined together, excepting maybe this setup. I think I'll leave this completely separate uh, probably wouldn't hurt to throw some more um, charcoal in that just to kick off some more some more things. Maybe just coal. Otherwise, it's just going to end up filling up everything. I'll just pop a stack of coal in there. Again, I'm not even sure what I've got in the way of coal. Nah, not heaps. But that's cool. So the more that it mines, the better. So let's look at Flux Networks. And I've got a little bit of redstone. Do I have any obsidian? I hope I do. Cool. Pretty sure that's all I need because I'm pretty sure that it's literally just left click the obsidian. So we need to get down to bedrock. Cool. So let's, uh, I've got stuff on me. I put a little bit of charge in this. But let's head on down underneath the base. Uh, wherever. Here? Yeah, here. Zip. Let's go. So down here somewhere we should get to bedrock. I don't think it goes all the way down, but it's not going to go all the way down at all, is it? All right, cool. Let's do maybe this direction. Let's switch this over to mining tunnel. Mining tunnel. Cool. And that gets us down to bedrock. Nice. Nice. This pick is a little OP. Just a little. Okay, so now we need to get our obsidian. Oh, and I made a morpho tool in uh, a morphing tool for this one. It's got all sorts of wrenches in it now, so similar to the, the whole um, encrypted pack. Nice. Oh! Once we've got that, once you've got flux dust, you can make, um, you can place a piece of flux on the ground underneath to make it instead of having to come all the way down here to bedrock. But still, it's not the end of the earth being all the way down here at bedrock. Always make sure I have to put some sort of light in. Let's just pop back up home. Got a little bit more than a stack. That's not too bad of a return. Oh no, we got the uh, the extras from the quest. So throwing this in here, if we look at our quest lineup, it wants us to make flux cores and a flux configurator. Now I'm being very careful on how I say the word flux. It has an L, everyone, so please don't look at it in any other way. So there is the configurator. Nice, and then it wanted what? It wanted one of these, a core. So I need another eye vendor. I'm not sure how many um, ender pearls I have actually at the moment. That's going to give us some cores. Nice, so let's claim these. And this. And then we actually have a controller in here from one of our loot drops. So we'll grab that out. There it goes. And do I have any more? Okay, at. At flux. Cool. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I'm doing it in here. I don't think this is helping. 
No, that's bad. All right, we have another controller. We have a plug. And then the dust that I threw in there. Well, yeah, I don't need two controllers. Uh, let's jump upstairs and really quickly check in these. Because anything is possible, you know? With all those loot drops. That one's now empty. You need to be rotated. And then we can get rid of this. All right, let's open our uh, loot. Nice. We've got whatever that is. A warden helmet. Some uranium. Some more loot bits and pieces. So let's zip down here. Let's get rid of the junk. And cool. If I type in loot, yeah, I've got a couple. There we go. There's another loot bundle. Uh, we've got a greater ring of magnetization, a boomerang, and a mover control. Don't think I've ever used that. So that's interesting. All right, so let's look at our controller. Um, where am I going to set up power? Is that something that goes in the roof? Up in here? Because the cool thing about these is that once we've set up a um, a network, purple. Oh, no, let's go green. Cool. And that's on our network. Nice. Uh, so once we've set that up, it, it doesn't need to be connected to anything in particular. We can set plugs and points all around uh, to be able to power things. Now, obviously, plugs and points are going to require lots of these flux cores, and they're going to take a bit of material. And again, I'm not sure exactly how much obsidian I had, but a little bit. What about ender pearls? A couple. Couple. Surely I had some light. My ender. Uh, where's the drop thing that they drop? Let's do recipe for this. Uh, nebulous hearts. Neb. Yeah, I thought I had a few of them. Cool. So that's a bunch of that. We'll pop them back in there. Uh, all right. So let's quickly jump out of there and look in here. We're going to have the flux controller. And we're going to have the plug used for adding energy to the network. So what I would do with the plug is I would connect it up to the solar panels, for example, or the water mill. And that will be the... Um, the input and then we use the points to put on the machines uh, so it wants us to make a flux block so let's make one of them let's say flux one of them please nice tick and then we can as i said before grab some obsidian Piece of obsidian, then I can get some more redstone. I don't think I need another one, but it's fine. And then just out here somewhere. It sounds funny, but really not sure where to set this up. Even this might be alright. As I said before. My tools are a little bit OP. I'll put that there and then put the city in there. I can then do that. Oh, I think it's four. We do lose the obsidian in the transaction, but I mean, what's a piece of obsidian between friends? 
All right, so it wants us to make some storage and then it wants us to make some points. So if I go at FLUX, the storage needs a bunch of blocks and some glass. So I need a bunch of these. I need a bunch of these. Okay, that's all I had in the way, Blaze. Ah, that's right. If, if you remember from last episode, we were collecting up Blaze. Cool. Um, point. There we go. And then for the storage, let's open our loot bundle. Actually, let's get the one more from here. We got four loot bundles. Let's see what we get. Let me sort the inventory. Cool. Got a bunch of junk. There you go. A Herculean flux storage. How cool is that? And then a quantum helmet. Interesting. Them in there. Basic item collector. I probably need to move this underneath the platform. And then I needed to work on the fans there, didn't I? Let's get rid of these things. Uh, sure, these can go away. Nice. Herculean flux storage. Now, obviously, that's this one. So all I would need to do is make one of these. That requires quite a lot. We've got one. Four. Five. Uh, nebulous. We worked out before. A few of them. Or is I had a blaze? A blaze. I know that's not the most efficient. Yeah, 16 is fine. One more lot of this. Cool, and then some... A couple of glass panes, look at that. This. Cool, that gets the basic, and then the Herculean. But I will claim both. And then I'll just put the basic away and we'll use the Herculean upstairs. So as I said, I'm just going to pop this down here. We're going to connect it to our network. And then we've got 120,000 transfer. And then this thing should hold how much? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. 16 million? Should be enough for the moment. And three more bags. Okay. Let me just unlock some of them. Generator. Reflection amulet. Induction charger. Shadow glaive. Ring of Loki. Fractionating still. Ring of water breathing. So for that, obviously, I unlock something. That unlocked lots of stuff. Um, cool. Let's get this random stuff out of here. Never finish cleaning up my my, my junk. Cool. Whoop. There we go. All right. Let's. Um, so much stuff in here. Eh? So much stuff. So we now have uh, the ability to 
receive energy and send energy. So as I said before, if I wanted to, I could then send this stuff. Um, I could put a point here and run it all out from there, for example. I could take this plug. And I don't know where I want to connect it, actually. Most of my power is coming from the roof. This is all being run. By this. So part of me wants to put this here, but then I lose the aesthetic of the like, cables and stuff. But I can then, pretty much, long and short, I can put this guy on something, connect him to my network, and then anything in here, and you can see here it's currently transferring 1152, and you'll see these are drained. Running out rather rapidly. And all of that power is going in here. Cool. We've got 512 coming in. Got half a mil in there already. You have do it, power surge. That's probably just the transfer out of these guys now. Nice. So we've got power going in, and then we can have power coming out using one of these. So I can take the point and attach it anywhere I want. And power whatever device is at that point. Pick that back up. So I do need to make a few more of these. Uh, what do you Item cable. Cool. Uh, can I do this? Yep. Nice. One less thing I need to carry around. All right, so let's check out what we've unlocked. Again, that's probably all I need to do in terms of configurator, and then I'll, I'll go and make some patterns, maybe, to make each of these items. Um, so I can just request one and be done with it. The idea would be to have all the power generation in one spot, all feeding into that 16 million uh, RF bank, and then exporting out using plugs and maybe some cable. So I could put a plug here, for example, and it would keep those two charged. I could put one here and it would keep that one charged, etc. Uh, so let's look at our book. There's a quest for going to the nether. There's some gold ingots from a bastion. Nice. Oh, what have we got in apotheosis here? An ender lead. Uh, Ars Nouveau. Got some Starbuncle shards. Artifacts. We got the kitty slippers. Cool. Let's scroll down. Mystical agriculture. We got the prosperity seeds. And then the infusion altar. We made that stuff last time. Nice. Oh, there's still much, so many. Some solium dust. Okay, we'll take a couple levels for that. Uh, power. We made the starter solar panel and the basic and then we made a hardened very nice uh reliquary we've got feather rings of ascension water breathing uh sophisticated we got the pickup upgrade thermal fractionating still is that it? Cool. That's it. So quite a bit of stuff. Let's put a lot of this stuff away. I don't think I got... I've got seven loot bags. And a whole bunch of loot fragments. Oop. Nine loot bags. So again, let's do the whole sort inventory and then go ham. Nice. Uh, scrap metal. Battery boxes, storage, there's some micro missiles, boots, rotary, condensator, cross of mercy, coolant ports, whatever imagination forest is, uh, interface, 
fluid mixer, some fluid rouse, centrifugal separator, sprinklers, band of aura, actor heat vent, laser amplifier. So we got a bunch of stuff there. Did we actually unlock any more? Yep. There's another bundle. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, iridium elementium pickaxe and a band of mana. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, oh, whatever this thing is. Energy crystals. All right. So, yeah, moving moving along. We've now got wireless power. And the cool thing here, and it's going to absolutely decimate the power. The cool thing here is whatever's in here, we've got 700,000. We can actually make this. Charge stuff in my hotbar. Oh, I need to enable wireless. So this will actually drain. I think. Hotbar slots. I've got this here. I thought that would work. Okay, so main inventory is disabled. Curios and often main. Uh, sure. Okay, everything seems to be working. Just doesn't want to charge this. All right, well, hopefully it's. Maybe charging other stuff. I don't really have anything else that needs to charge, so that's cool. I'll just turn the wireless back off, but it should have been should have been working. It's cool. Uh, yeah, so we've now got wireless power, and again, as I said, I need to hook up um, plugs and the points so we can connect up plugs to areas where we're going to get power. What do you have that? Uh, so if I wanted to, I could run the Furnator through it. I could do this and grab an LV. Like so. Connector on and It's plus 10, All right? This doesn't generate heaps. It's generating plus 10. So now upstairs, that little thing will be going up. Just a little. Cool. So I'll work out what's the best way of running cables and, and power to stuff and prioritizing, but that's literally just like 10 RF. Not doing much else. All right, so I wouldn't mind a few minutes left, and I'm pretty decently specced armor-wise. Let's grab a diamond. Grab some buckets. And what do we got in the way of flowers? Not much there. Let's head out. Water and grab a few flowers. Hey, buddy, and your mate. Okay, just uh, Ooh, whatever. Should be enough. Let's head back over here, perhaps, and we'll set this up here. Flowers. 
I don't know if it needs to be all the same. Might be one short. I'm short. Um, is this one? I'll use this. We'll find out in a second, right? Put this in. Yes. So there's our Twilight Forest portal. I figured that'd be nice, just in this area. So let me dump off the junk in my inventory. I need to get an ender pouch. That would be quite handy, I think. Ender pouch, ender chest. Let's do this. Uh, what do we normally do when we go to the twilight? We created the portal. Cool. It wants us to just go and do the feathers and stuff. So, um, let's type the word loot again. Yep, yeah, but five at the moment. Cool. All right, so I've got two backpacks. I've got a mining gadget with a little bit of power. Let's go. Let's see if it'll do its thing. All right. Welcome to the Twilight Forest. You enjoy your stay. First things first, we need to find one of these pillars. And then hopefully there's a... A raven around. There he is. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Cool, we got that. Uh, then we're going to need... Anything and everything that comes from trees. Jeesh. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff we're going to need. We need to make the uh, magic map focus. So we need torch berries and glowstone dust. And we're going to need some paper. Once it's... Defeat some stuff. It's a little bit disjointed. Uh, I just cannot remember if I turned the progression in Twilight off. No, I didn't. Cool. We know that's a thing. So there's only a certain few areas that I can go to. But I do obviously need to find torch berries. And I've got glowstone back at base. Have a little bit of a look around. Because it wants to like get one of everything and shears and all sorts of jazz. Oh, I've got to change that back to shapeless. Okay. Still looking. All right. Keep heading this way. The map looks a bit odd on the old uh, corner up there. Be gone, sheep. There's a hedge maze. Go and check it out. I don't know if we can do it yet, but we'll find out. I still need the uh, berries. Interested to see what sort of ability I have to beat a Naga at this point. Ah, can I fly in this pack? Nope. Come on. Go, bro. Hey, buddy. <laughs> well, this sword does a bit of damage. Nice. The summer in here will be the Canopy chest. Cool. Oh, well, we defeated the Naga. That was a, a little too easy, I guess. But um, 
kind of figured it would be, we're, we're, as I said, pretty highly spec. The only thing we can't do is fly, um, which is good in a, in a Twilight run through. So I think I'm actually going to, for once, try not to fly in, in here because it's not something I can do yet. This is Fairy Circle. I'll go straight down here. I get to something. Whatever they were. It's turned anyone? Oh, hello. Let's put stuff away. Probably should do this. Cool. Got some torch berries, everyone. Just what I needed. Right there are all sorts of creatures. Like that. <laughs> all right. So obviously we got some uh, exploring to do, but I'm going to head back. Wow. Fun. As I said, I'm a little OP. But there's a ton of them though. Um. Let's head back to the other world and really quickly make this map thing that we need to. Got all sorts of cool stuff then, didn't I? Yeah, it can all go in here. Torch berries. Okay, let's make the magic map focus. Uh, and that feather is in here. Oh, cool. there's a magic map focus. That's another quest. Take this stuff out of here. Pop it into here. Nice. And then we need to take the magic map focus. Ooh. We did a Naga, right? Magic map focus. And then we can make a blank magic map. Do I have any paper? Yep, got enough. I've actually got a magic map, don't I? That's no, Sampo. Boop. There's a blank magic map. Cool. So let's just grab that a random reward. Uh, nice. So we'll continue off in the um, magic, uh, the Twilight Forest next episode. What did I get? That's right. That was the thing. Uh, we'll continue in the Twilight Forest next episode and hopefully start through some of the progression, I think. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know why I was running magic. Uh, as I said, I'd like to try and do it without flight. Because I do cheese it uh, a bit when I'm playing. So what else did I get? Chocolate apple. Sounds interesting. Uh, cool. So wrapping up point, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everyone.